Hey everyone, here with my review for the Samsung Galaxy Victory <clears throat> excuse me, 4G LTE from Virgin Mobile. It's Virgin Mobile's first 4G LTE phone. And uh, before I get into the phone, let me run down some specs to you. It has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera as well as a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. It has a 4 inch screen with 800 by 400 pixel density. It has a 2100 milliamp hour battery which touts up to 7 hours of uh, usage and it has 4 gigabytes of internal memory with the micro SD card uh, slot that allows up to 32 gigabytes of memory expansion and that's that so as you can see here on the front of the screen here's your 4 inch screen you have your uh, front facing camera up here at the top left you have three hardware buttons at the bottom uh, menu home and back at the bottom of the phone you have your charging port and microphone um, on the right hand side of the phone you have your dedicated camera key on your left hand side you have a micro SD card slot as well as your volume rocker on the back of the phone you have your uh, camera and flash and then on the top of the phone you have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a power button so inside the phone the phone is running uh, Android Jelly Bean which is Android 4.1 and it has S Beam it has S Voice which is like uh, Google, Samsung's version of Siri for the iPhone it has Wi-Fi Direct it has NFC and it has Google Now which is pretty much exclusive to uh, Jelly Bean devices but I'll get into that later so here you have the home screen which is pretty standard stuff uh, you have a few home screens to com that comes with the phone you can add or subtract as you see fit you just press the add button more home screens pop up or you can delete home screens um, you have four quick app uh, slots down here which is your apps that you use frequently and you can't change them just flick them away or bring them down and uh, the only one you can't change is of course the app tray button and that opens your app tray and here are your, your apps uh, things that come with the phone are pretty standard your Google uh, Play magazines play movies etc and uh, yeah then you have your widgets and uh, you have a few cool widgets that come with the phone you have assistive light which is uh, a flashlight you have your alarm clock widget etc calendar and yeah a few, a few cool widgets and that's that and here in the notification bar you have uh, here you go you have your brightness right from the start you have Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS etc you have the date and you have settings key right there into your settings you have uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, same stuff pretty much. You have your settings for NFC, S-Beam, uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it for settings. I'll show you the lock screen really quickly. The lock screen uh, is pretty cool. <laughs> it's like your standard uh, ice cream sandwich lock screen or whatever, but at the bottom you can have a news source or you can have a Facebook feed there. And uh, that's pretty convenient. It's pretty cool. You can just scroll through the news right from your uh, right from your lock screen. But anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. So the first thing I go into is the browser. The browser is pretty much the same uh, if you've used a uh, a. Uh, like ice cream sandwich phone it's not much different uh, speed wise it is pretty fast if you watched my uh, previous video you can see that it it holds its own speed wise I'll go to let's 
cnet.com and as you can see this is the mobile site but it pulls up pretty quickly uh, pinch to zoom without any uh, you know pixelation or anything like that pretty cool and you have your settings right there all you gotta do is press on the screen and speaking of settings pretty much the same thing as all Android phones uh, JavaScript yada 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 and uh, you can change the text and you can invert the color which is pretty much like a night mode where they change colors like so so here would be like the inverted color and I'll pull up one more site just to show the speed of the phone uh, yeah so here's the tumblr pulled it up in just a few seconds I'll refresh it really quickly so there you go tumblr pops up pretty quickly and that was the desktop version <coughs> excuse me so yeah the browser is pretty simple and while I'm in here I might as well show off that the phone can screenshot uh, all you have to do is press the power and the home button and hold it for a minute and voila screenshot is saved as you can see there so the phone again does screenshot um next thing I'll show off is the camera for the phone and yeah so here's the camera it is pretty basic it has a few filters uh, black and white sepia negative settings shooting mode effects panorama so pretty uh, simple uh, it does take decent uh, pictures it does take decent pictures the front face of camera as well takes decent pictures the video comes out nice and clear uh, no complaints about the camera and uh, the flash is pretty nice as well and one cool thing about the camera is it is uh, voice activated so here I'll try to take a picture really quickly uh, smile smile and there you go as you can see it captured the picture so that's a pretty cool feature uh, just being able to tell your camera when to take a picture is pretty cool and the last thing I'll get into in part one of this video is uh, Google now it's Google's like uh, I don't even know I guess kind of like a Siri type feature you can ask it a question and it uh, pulls up the information right away kind of like an updated Google search and I'll test it out right here what you have to do is go from the home screen and ask it a question did the heat win last night yes the heat beat the magic 108 to 94 and so it's pretty cool uh, you can ask it pretty much anything it'll pull it up and after a while it starts to keep track of things you ask and uh, pulls it up there automatically when you open the app so uh, that's a nice touch to Jelly Bean so yeah in the next part of the video I'll go over S voice I'll go over gaming messaging uh, and everything I left out of this video so please like and subscribe and please stay tuned for part two um, to see what I left out of this video. Have a good one.